Hey guys, it's Jen Gibbs here, and I wanted to give you a few tips on how to best use a Facebook invitation through an event. And so I know a lot of you have tried that with varying degrees of success, and I want to give you some pointers. So my first tip is don't. And that might seem counterintuitive because I'm about to tell you how to do it, but if you're gonna have an event and you want it to be successful, you cannot just use a Facebook invite or an event, a Facebook event. For one, a lot of people don't see them. They're not aware of their notifications and where to look for it. And for two, if they see that you've invited 200 people to a party at your house, they may just figure, oh, they'll be packed. I don't have to worry about it. I have a conflict that night anyway. And so no big deal. It's not personal. It's not like she was really counting on me to come to her event. And so what we want to do is Yes, use it, put a great graphic up on the banner for that page so that if people are looking for information and wanna see what your event is all about, say you're gonna do a shake demo night or a blend fresh smoothie demo night, then you can put some fun graphics up there and if you're on my team, I have some ready to use and you can contact me for that. But what you wanna do is make it fun and colorful and informative exactly what they're gonna get and when to go there. But then I want you to think of it as if it's a paper flyer that someone left on your doorstep. Now granted, maybe it's a friend, but I want you to think about how compelling is that. It's not personal, it's not terribly exciting, it's really kind of one dimensional. And so what I want you to do as you start inviting to your events is use that as a paper flyer. And so what I want you to do is call people on the phone or maybe private message them or text them and say, hey, I'm gonna be having a great event at my house. It's next Tuesday at seven. I really hope you can come. Um, tell me if that's gonna fit into your schedule or not because I really wanna plan and make sure I have enough food and that kind of thing. And so make it really specific. I would encourage you to use their name. Even if you're copying and pasting a message to lots of individual people, swap out the name for each post because then they'll know it's not just a giant broadcast post. And in fact, don't even use a group text because you want it to feel personal and you don't want everybody else to see the regrets or of people that are not able to make it. You want it to be just an individual conversation between you and this person that you're inviting. And so then you can say, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and add you in a Facebook group just so you can get the details if you want more. So again, you're using your Facebook event as a paper flyer just to remind them of the details. This is not a replacement for calling and inviting them or texting them and letting them know. Again, phone is best because it's so rare these days, so few people take the time to actually pick up the phone and call you, that if someone does, you'll probably answer because you're like, hey, that was pretty cool. They took time out of their day to pick up the phone and call me. And so if you're gonna bother to set aside an evening and clean your house and put together a nice presentation or demo, you're gonna to wanna to give yourself the best odds of people showing up possible. So again, start with the phone and then you can add them to the Facebook invite once they know it's coming. Now, the day before, you need to pick up the phone again or text and say, hey, I'm just getting a final head count. I wanna make sure that this was still a good time. And then you can go ahead and send that out. They've still got access to the link if they need more information or the address or everything like that. But do not rely on them setting a message in their calendar to remember to come to your party because what's important to you is not as important to them yet because they don't know what we know. And so what you're gonna do is the day before confirm that and then even two hours before, just a little quick text, hey, I'm excited that you're coming tonight. It's gonna to be a great recipe. You're gonna learn some cool stuff. I can't wait to see you. It's gonna be a lot of fun to connect again. And so just remember to use Facebook invites, yes, but use them in the right perspective. Thanks.